the most common place problems that affect Android smartphones is the no SIM card error. In this video, we'll show you the general solutions that you can try if you're getting this error on any Samsung Galaxy and non-Galaxy device. Fixing the no SIM card problem is often a straightforward process the majority of the time. All that is required to fix the issue is a simple restart. If a simple restart does not resolve the issue, however, try one of the several solutions that we have provided in this video. It is recommended that you do a system refresh before continuing with any more troubleshooting. Restarting an electronic equipment, similar to restarting a computer, may occasionally resolve seemingly little problems. The random access memory and memory may both be cleared by simulating the effects of a battery pull, which, if you haven't already attempted it, you should do so now. This other simple troubleshooting step is an effective way to fix problems. First, you want to remove the SIM card then afterwards, you want to reinsert it properly, turn off your Samsung Galaxy device. This is important. Inserting a SIM while the device is on may result to corrupted data. With your phone screen facing you, remove the card tray. You can use the insertion, removal tool or a paper clip to unlock the tray by inserting it into the provided slot. This small hole should be visible on the top part of your device. Remove the SIM card from the tray. You can lift the card up from the bottom. To assist, use the opening on the opposite side of the tray to dislodge using a fingernail or similar tool. Put the SIM card again on the SIM card tray and make sure to insert it properly into the device. Press in on the tray to lock it into place. Turn on your phone and check for the problem. Event that there is an issue with the SIM card itself. It is also a good idea to replace the card in question. You might also try inserting it into a different phone that is compatible with it to see whether or not it is malfunctioning. A phone that is compatible with your existing network is one that can communicate with it. If the second phone you try to use with your SIM card does not identify it, this indicates that the card could have a problem and has to be replaced. Before installing it, you should attempt to clean the gold contacts on it. Sometimes dirt or dust might get in the way of these metallic connections, which can ultimately result in connection issues. To ensure the applications load as quickly as possible, Android makes use of a system cache that is kept inside the cache partition. This cache is prone to become corrupted both during and after an update, as well as for a variety of other causes. Even while it may not seem dangerous at first, a cache that has been corrupted might ultimately lead to speed concerns as well as a number of other petty problems. You may delete the cache partition on your phone if you want to be sure that the system cache has the most recent data. If you are still having issues with it after this, you should try resetting all of the network settings. This is a critical step in the troubleshooting process for any network related issues that may be occurring on a Galaxy device. The following is a list of the actions that you need to take from the home screen. Swipe up on an empty spot to open the apps tray. Tap general management. Reset. Reset network settings. Tap reset settings. If you have set up a pin, enter it. Tap reset settings. Once complete, a confirmation window will appear. There are situations when a rogue application might make Android or other applications malfunction. In order to determine if a malicious third party is the source of the problem, boot the phone into safe mode and then check for the issue. If the no SIM card warning does not appear while operating in safe mode but reappears when operating in regular mode, you can guarantee that a rogue application is at fault. Press and hold the power key until power options appear. Tap and hold power off option until safe mode option appear. Tap safe mode. Wait for the device to finish restart. Safe mode will display in the bottom left corner of the screen. Once on safe mode, try to charge the phone for at least 30 minutes and see what happens in and of itself. 
Safe mode is not a solution to the problem. It is more of a tool that may assist you in determining whether or not a problematic application is the root of the issue on an Android device. Therefore, if the phone recognizes your SIM card properly in safe mode but not in any other mode, you may presume that the issue is caused by a third-party program that has been loaded on the device. If none of the options presented earlier are successful, the issue may be due to a software issue. See if you can repair the problem by doing a factory reset on the device. Factory reset will delete apps and personal data so be sure to create a backup before doing it. Your software will revert to its initial configuration once you do a factory reset. Here's what you must do. Create a backup of your personal data and remove your Google account. Open settings app. Scroll to and tap general management. Tap reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap Reset to continue. Tap Delete All to confirm action. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.